Hey Joe and Transformer fans, I'm JoeFan82 here with another action figure review and today I am looking at the Transformers Earthrise Starscream figure. This guy looks like he is directly based on his appearance in the Sunbow animated series. If you are a fan of that show like I am, then you are going to really like this figure. Let's take a closer look. They did a great job of matching the colors pretty closely to the original G1 version of this character. I think he's looking pretty good. If you haven't picked up a Transformer in a while, you might not know that they are putting a lot of detail, especially in the last few years, a lot more detail into the sculpt. You can see it here, all the little uh, pieces in the sculpt that stand out. I really like uh, the sculpt on this guy. The head sculpt is very nice. It's a little bit on the small side. I think the head sculpt could be just a little bit bigger. I like that the black and silver and red have a nice gloss to them, nice shine. The back is a little light on detail. It looks like this is the part where they skimped a little bit. And uh, if you're going to have a place on the figure where it's not as good, I would prefer it to be the back. Uh, most likely where adult collectors would not be seeing it too much with him being on the uh, shelf. You see the purple Decepticon logo there on his wings. It is not a sticker, not a decal. It's there in the sculpt painted on which I really like because with Transformers, sometimes if you're transforming them over and over, the decals can start to uh, rub off a little bit. Down on the legs, we've got the uh, his rear wings there, beautiful blue, red, and white, and uh, not a lot of empty space in the robot mode, which I really like. Let's look at his articulation. His head uh, is on a ball joint and really nice range of motion here. Nice up and down and uh, side to side. His shoulders come up about so far. Can't quite do a full 360 with this guy with his wings, but uh, I think you could if they weren't there. His elbows get a 90 degree bend on there. And a nice swivel at the bicep. Or the bicep would be. Yeah, and you gotta move this gun out of the way to really get that movement there. Not really any movement in the wrists, those are locked in. And uh, no movement there in the midsection. He's got a nice range of motion in his knees, just a full on uh, ratchet there, so he can bend pretty far. And the best part of all to me are the rocker ankles. These really help give you some uh, dynamic poses. Uh, with the Transformers when you have this level, this point of articulation. In the front and the back with some extra stabilization there. You can get some really nice poses with this guy. Here's one, he's um, leaning a little bit. This guy is very sturdy, solidly built. I was surprised uh, Usually Transformers, to me, feel on the lighter side, but this guy feels pretty sturdy, pretty a, so a solid figure, and some really nice poses here uh, with his articulation. He comes with two accessories, these uh, guns or blasters or whatever you want to call them. They attach into these holes on his shoulders. And they're supposed to slide into his hands there, and they will fit, and they will, they can fit into his hands, but they're pretty loose. So they'll stay there if you have it just sitting on the shelf. They'll be fine, but if you're moving him around and stuff, uh, they might fall out. So just watch out for that. Here's a little size comparison with Titan's Return Soundwave and uh, Siege Shockwave. 
So these are a little bit shorter than Shockwave and a lot shorter than Soundwave. And just for fun, here's a comparison with a uh, modern Recondo figure, G.I. Joe Recondo, and a brand new classified G.I. Joe Duke figure, six inch figure. That's where he matches up with them. So I'm a big fan of his robot mode. That's my default mode for Transformers. But they are Transformers. They transform into other things and he transforms into a jet. So we're gonna go ahead and do the transformation here. Bear with me as I struggle through this. I am not a Transformers expert. I have a lot less experience doing Transformers than uh, some other people you'll see here on YouTube. But uh, here we go. Transformation is not that complex. He comes with instructions that are pretty easy to follow. Um, I was able to get it done within uh, a few minutes. The instructions for Starscream say you can do it in about 30 steps. So this, uh, this part, you gotta make sure that tab is pointing forward. Let's see, I kinda missed it there. So make sure it's pointing forward and you can slide this in. And all of these, um, all of the parts that you're moving around feel very solid. Uh, it doesn't really feel like anything's gonna break too easily. So I don't know if they've changed their plastic or uh, if it seems, just seems like the quality is a little bit better on this than uh, some of the other figures that I've gotten from the other lines. This part was a little tricky. You gotta kind of slide it out on the notches on both sides there on the front. As you can see here, I forgot you got to put it over the head and then it snaps into place. There we go. Looking a lot better now. Then you just flip that around, move it down. And these two pieces slide, rotate into the middle. They come down to the feet here and you just kind of rotate these off and uh, to the side and then you can slide this out. The front and the back pieces snap together And that piece snaps in. There's a little hole there for the notch to go in. And then the two legs, you fold these open and then the legs collapse in. Very nicely, nice smooth. Uh, really overall, this is a pretty smooth transformation in my opinion anyway. And you gotta make sure they're all the way in, folks. If they're not all the way in, uh, those leg pieces won't close. So let's try it again. All right, <laughs> we got those pieces in now. Now the legs should slide in pretty easily there. And then the legs snap together. Like so. So now he's really starting to look like a jet here, isn't he? The wings snap into the sides. So 
a little tiny hole there that the notch slides into. And now he's looking pretty good. Everything snapped into place. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this alt mode. Again, uh, I generally don't like alt modes as much as the robot mode. Uh, but uh, I think he's looking pretty good. Looks a lot like uh, the jet that he should be. The wings maybe could be a little bit bigger. Possibly. But overall, I think it's looking really nice. For the finishing touch, we're going to snap in these uh, guns here on the bottom. Like so. And uh, there you have it. He, he does look a lot better from the top than the bottom. The bottom is a little bit messy. So that's nice and clean on the top. And down here on the bottom. And you've got a little bit of open space in the front there, um, which isn't great. But I'm willing to let some flaws on the alt mode slide in exchange for a really nice robot mode. Here's a little size comparison with some other alt modes. I have to say overall, I'm a big fan of this figure. I've become a big fan of the G1 Sumbo animated series, and this guy looks like he stepped off the screen and into uh, my toy room here. I'm generally a fan of any uh, figure that is screen accurate. The more screen accurate you can be, uh, the better in my opinion. And this guy does it. They did a great job with the sculpt. The articulation really takes it up a notch. Uh, in general, Siege and now Earthrise are doing a bang up, bang up job with representing these characters in the classic G1 look. Uh, paint deco is great, articulation is great, and uh, I highly recommend adding this to your Transformers collection. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.